What's up, guys? So the Galaxy S23 in the or S23 FE in the US just received the new One UI 6 update, and today I'm going to be showing you all the new features and basically all the features you have to change and what's new. So let's get started. So the first thing and the most obvious thing about One UI 6 is the new notification layout, and also this most important thing is. Um, the quick settings. Um, so the quick settings is basically just little, literally quick animation or quick um, quick things that you can just instantly access and just control settings like mobile data, airplane mode. Um, so that's this has been added, and you also have like quick access to it just by swiping from the one corner. If it'll work, decides to work. There we go. Um, I just wasn't doing it right. That's why it wasn't working. Um, and so to edit it, you're going to hit that little pencil icon. And the first thing that you're gonna want to do with this is hit um, quick quick settings instant access. So by default, this will be toggled off. But what you're gonna want to do is toggle it on. So whenever you want, you can just reach to the corner and pull down the notifications or the um, quick settings without having to go through the notifications. So it's not two uh, gestures; it's just one easy gesture. And you can just scroll up once if you want to exit it. Or you could just grab that little navigation bar and just swipe up. And it will get rid of it for you. And the next thing that is important is the, or not really important, but got a big redesign, is the camera application. Um, so we have new, um, like, little design there. And also for portrait, it now has, like, three little bubbles almost um, that you can not go between. But it's not, like, it doesn't look like how it looks on photo. Uh, video, same thing. Uh, turn it off. Uh, same thing. Uh, it got that new little notif or new little icon fix. I don't know what you want to call that. Um, and also the gallery um, got an update. Um, gallery. Okay, so if you swipe up, you can see image detail just like you could before. Um, but you now have the remaster and object eraser right there. And also when you go to edit, sorry, I just switched it to mini mode. Um, when you go to edit your photos, it now looks different too. With this area that um, has all your things, so it has style, um, color mix, and just all these object eraser. Um, then you can edit it. So everything is, you can do the same stuff, but it just has a slightly different layout. Um, and everything, so once you... So say you say, okay, so Z flip five, hit done, make it as big as you want, if you, however big you want it to be, and hit save. And then when you're done, if you don't like how it looks, you just press the pencil icon, um, press the pencil icon, <laughs> and then just tap, oops, tap on stickers or text, and then you can readjust it. So before... On the Galaxy um, editor, when you like put text or something, you couldn't remove it. You had to restart the whole photo, which was really annoying. Um, but now it's way better, um, which is really good. Um, and also, what's new is the weather widget. Um, so it now has this redesign. So it's all the color, all the same color all the way down. And it also um, just has like smoother animations, as you can see. It just looks a lot better, a lot neater, and I personally really like it. Um, it tells you more information um, than it used to, and it's just super nice to have. And also, pretty much like all Samsung stock widgets got a redesign, which is super nice. Um, and also, Samsung's emojis got a redesign. Um, so when you go to hit emojis, they now have a more polished look to them, which I really like. Um, it did take, like, a day to get used to or so, but after that, I really love them. Um, they just look so much better than the other ones. They're more polished, and they're easy, easier to, um, and they are easier to, like, um, they just, like, to express yourself, I guess you could say, than the old ones were, and they just look so much better. Um, so that, those are, like, basically the main things, um, about, like, the Galaxy, or about the new One UI 6, but a few more minor ones. Are like there's a few more fonts added for the lock screen for like the clock face so there's like uh there's three new ones and you can also now move it to wherever you want on the home or on the lock screen so that's pretty nice um 
so that's basically really um, like the major things that are new with One UI 6. But if you're interested in checking out my or my um, video on where I went in depth with all the new One UI 6 features, that video will be right here at the end of this video. And so let me know what your favorite part about One UI 6 is and if your S23 FE has received it yet in the United States or even wherever um, you live. And at the time of this video, um, it is Monday, January 8th. Um, so it is obviously the new year. Um, and it this, the One UI 6 was the second update that my S23 FE had received. And it's now on the January security patch. So there was two other ones waiting for it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about the S23 FE as well. And if you have it, what your experience has been with it. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. See you then.